In part two of solving equations, our next equation we have is negative three-fifths x equal to two-thirds. Now we're going to look at our coefficient right here in front of the x, and we're going to multiply both sides by its coefficient. And excuse me, not the coefficient. We're going to multiply the coefficient by its reciprocal, which is five over a negative three. So let's go ahead and write 5 over a negative 3 on both sides. Now 5 divided, or 5 multiplied by 5, they cancel each other out. I'm not multiplying, but we're cross-canceling. And the negative 3s cancel each other out. So that's going to leave us with x by itself. Next, we're going to look at 2 times 5 is 10. And then 3 times a negative 3 is a negative 9. So we get negative 10 over 9 as our answer. So let's go ahead and check our work. So we have negative 3 fifths x, but we're going to replace the x by the parentheses, which is 10 over a negative 9 equals to 2 thirds. So let's see how that goes. So the negative 3 times a positive 10 is a negative 30. 5 times a negative 9 is a negative 45. And it says that it equals to 2 thirds. Well, I don't know if that doesn't seem right, but I know that negative and negative becomes a positive. And 5 goes into both of these. So let's see, 5 goes into 30 six times. And 5 goes into 45 nine times. Still doesn't come down to 2 thirds. But hey, 3 goes into each one of these. 3 goes into 6 two times. And 3 goes into 9 three times. There we go. Now we know it checks. We know that we checked our answer. Yes. That 10, ninths, 10 over negative 9 is the correct solution in this problem. Mm -hmm.